What's up, Wayne Baron here with Dark Effect Studios, and we are once again inside of Windows 2016 Server with Failover Cluster Manager. In our last video, inside of Windows PowerShell, we changed the current host server from Car SQL 1 to 2 and then back over to 1 again. However, what we're going to do next is that we're going to come over here to our disk, and we see that all of our disks right here are set to owner node of Car SQL 1. So, what we're going to do is that we're going to change that to Car SQL 2. I actually just changed it to Car SQL 1. But I want to switch it over to Car SQL 2 and then back over to 1 so I can demonstrate how you do this. Let's go ahead and bring this down. We're going to keep an eye on this area. What we're looking for is the Assign To. So we're going to come here and we're going to do Move Cluster Group. And then right here is where we're going to put in the Assign To. Before we did Cluster Group. So now we're going to do the available storage. So we're going to do available storage. So we're going to change this to cars SQL 2. And then do a weight at 0. And all of it should change. And nothing changed. Ah, I got a double weight. So let's go ahead and we're going to copy this so I don't have to type it back out again. 0. And there we go, everything changed. And so it's online pending. And now everything is online. So once again, the only thing that we gotta do is change the available storage and change this and then wait zero. So it's move dash cluster group available storage, which is what this is. And then node car SQL one, wait zero. And now it's going to change everything back to one, which is what we need it in order to install SQL Server. All right, Wayne Baron here with Dark Fake Studios. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.